1850 in England, mm -hmm. the French built a new ship. And the English were convinced that, that they were going to invade England. The English army is mostly abroad, oh, you know, protecting their empire. So there was what they call the volunteer movement. So individual citizens. All right, armed themselves in um, militias, effectively. All right, but they were self-paid. They paid their own way. All right, so they bought their own equipment. And of course, you're going to buy equipment. You're not going to buy yeah. a crappy Enfield. You're going to have one made for you. Hmm. All right. So this is an example of one of those. It's, it's a volunteer rifle. All right. So therefore, it was made by a well-renowned Charles Ingram, was a well-renowned manufacturer who made target shooting guns in Glasgow. Charles Ingram himself was a world-class shooter, so he was shot often at Wimbledon in the, uh, in the matches they held there. And um, this one has got hand-cut checkering, and so for instance, whoever bought this had a little extra cash. Yeah. Little so you load that, this, like rifles you put, like a, that. Put, a, put, a, put a standard primer? That's a large pistol primer, yeah. Large pistol primer. That's weird that that, that yeah. wasn't rim fire, because back in that era, no, most yeah. of your cartridges yeah, were no, rim fire. That was center fire, center fire. so shoot that. Yeah. So it is a military rifle. It will accept a military bayonet, huh. right? but it's just slightly better adorned. You know, better wood. Um, you know, this then the bluing, and this actually was case hardened. You can see some of it's left, not much. So, and other than the sling, it's all original. And as you can see, it shoots great. When you resold oh, well, grays or wells, you know, you can say he got her. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's all right. Half cock. That's all right. Or you could just get another prison. Put that in the prison. Why don't you probably work 40 bucks to get in the prison? Yeah. Was it good? Okay. And then pull this the whole thing down. What kind of locks on that can get the whole thing? That's cool. Rotate it into my hand. That's neat. Man, that's a, that there'd be a, a deer hunting gun for sure. <laughs> there wouldn't be much deer left. <laughs> but it put it down, though. Yeah, that's what it would put right. it down. Yeah, man, it put it down. I ain't no. Pull the full cock and you're ready to go. Okay. Probably. You're going to have fun. That's what it's all about. Come on. That poor rabbit. Okay, now open, oh, open it up. Oh, how do I? Open that up. Yeah, open it up. Oh, sorry. Now pull the whole bolt back. You just fired the last shot. Cool. That was. How many grains go in there? That's uh, like about 63 grains of 3F. Um, and uh, the bullet's about uh, 530 grains. Whoa.